Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at the Hold VBS Trojan. This Trojan is fairly simplistic but quite destructive and has some changes in behavior depending on which country you're located in. Before we take a look at the Trojan itself, we're going to take a look at these dummy documents I've got on my desktop. We've got the important text file, the important log is the same thing, this zip file which contains both of those, this unstoppable virus that I wrote because I'm such a cool guy, my resume, please hire me. We got the budget, it's looking good. And we've got a presentation that I made that just sort of highlights some important things in the computing industry. We've got a few ROMs and Nintendo, if you're watching this, I do not condone piracy in any way whatsoever. I obtained these totally legally. Please don't delete my channel. We also have this MP3, a cool song. Capcom, if you're watching, please don't delete my channel either. I kind of, I like it. Don't delete it. So, just for the record, these are Super Nintendo games, and this one is a Game Boy Color game, which is important later. And finally, we've got just a couple of default Windows JPEGs. So, first things first, I've changed the country code in regedit to 34, which equates to Singapore for this Trojan's purposes. Now, if you happen to find yourself in Singapore, this would be your experience with this Trojan. Let's go ahead and run it. And oh, we got a invalid character. Hold on. One moment. Okay, take two. If you're in Singapore, this is what you would see. You run it, and you see nothing. Cool. But what has actually happened, if we go up here and collapse this and go to our favorite... Microsoft Windows current version run we can see the Trojan has added the please entry pointing to the fonts directory with jerry.vbs now this is interesting so if we actually go into the fonts directory we do not see it these are all just fonts you don't see that VB script icon anywhere However, it is there. Let's go into our search. I've already prepared it. We're going to search for VBS on drive C. And there we go. We can see three actually in the fonts directory. We've got Jerry, ord.doc.vbs, and ordphoto.jpg.vbs. And it's really interesting that we can't see those at all, even though we're looking right at the folder. That's because the fonts folder behaves a little bit differently than any other folder on Windows. If we drag and drop this JPEG in here, Windows thinks we're trying to install a font and it'll tell you it can't do it. And okay, it's damaged. Can't do it. Cancel. And nothing appears in there. So the only thing that will show up in this folder are fonts. But if you go in through the back end with a Visual Basic script, as you can see through the search, you can definitely copy files there. So now we've got Jerry VBS ready to go on startup and that's just another copy of the Trojan so we have three separate copies that are all the same thing and we do have a message box that pops up on June 12th so let's look at that so there we go our message is happy birthday or low end of suffering happy birthday Edwin and Jeremy so happy birthday hopefully this Trojan is everything you'd want in a present so that's all well and good, but what happens, you may ask, if you're not in Singapore? Let's find out. I figured I'd show you the way the Trojan keeps track of what country you're in, is if you're in Singapore, according to the registry, it adds a key to the software part under H key local machine, Singapore equal to one. However, if we now change our country code back to one for United States because that's where I'm at or any other country so if you're not in Singapore you're not gonna have a good time so let's keep our eyes on the desktop you ready and go oh we got our message box and nothing well it seems like something should have happened right we come back over here to our Singapore key and now we can see it's set to zero so obviously the Trojan recognizes that the country code changed. 
but still, we didn't see anything happen. So I'm assuming that this is crashing, so we're going to edit out on error resume next, which for Visual Basic Script tells it that when you encounter an error, don't say anything, just go to the next line of code and continue. Unless, of course, it's a fatal error that the script can't continue from, in which case it just crashes entirely and does not run anymore. But since it has this line in it, you don't see anything. We can see that the author wanted to call it ord low, but I guess the antivirus vendors liked hold a little better. I'm not really partial to either, so I don't have an opinion on that, but it is what it is. All right, here we go. Let's see what's going on with this. So we got a type mismatch file exists on line 12. So let's see, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'm just going to point this directly to the file system object they made and try that. Okay, let's try it one more time. Oh, same thing. Okay, let's fix that on all those other lines real quick. Come back here. Okay. FSO dot. No, not slash. Dot. And finally, FSO dot. Alright, let's save. And go. Oh, we got our message. Oh, permission denied. So it was trying to manipulate some file. We didn't see that before. Everything's still here. What's happening is hold is attempting to delete files with extensions of, you ready? There's quite a list, so be prepared. Zip, ARJ, RAR, ACE, LHZ, DOC, LOG, JS, RTF, PDF, ASM, WP, TEXT, XLS, MDB, PowerPoint, AVI, MPEG, ASF, RM, MOVE, MP3, MP2, MP, MOD, MID, WAVE, so sorry any mod file music lovers, this Trojan is not the Trojan for you. Also get JPEG, JPEG with the E, GIF, or is it GIF, bitmap, and then finally, for whatever reason, targets SMC, GB, GBC, and GBA files, which as we can see here are Super Nintendo and Game Boy based ROM files for the most part. I'm sure there's probably some other programs that utilize those file extensions, but most of us who watch this channel know it's probably related to Nintendo ROMs. Well, the reason why this is crashing so spectacularly is because Windows is constantly writing to one of those log files. So we're going to scroll down here and we're going to take out log. Now let's try it. We ready? Let's go. Take two for hold, deleting everything. Okay, end of suffering. Oh, there it goes. So we took log out, so important.log survived. And eventually we reached something that we couldn't delete and got permission denied again. But it was not soon enough to crash the script to save all of our data. So that important budget, my beloved resume, my amazing uh, virus that I wrote in JavaScript, clearly JavaScript and not anything else, the PowerPoint, all those lovely photos and the ROMs, everything is just gone. I'm sure Nintendo probably would have liked the ROM part, but probably not any of the other parts. This Trojan wasn't very widespread. I mean, if you're not in Singapore, the instant you run it, everything gets wiped. But it doesn't get wiped because that log file is in use. But I guess if that log file wasn't in use, then maybe it would trash all your data. But in most cases, it seems like you're just not going to see anything happen at all once you run this script. Now, how about we have some fun with it? Let's bring it back up. Instead of zip, how about we just do exe? And instead of arj, how about dll? That sounds fun. Let's go. I'll bet it'll crash pretty quick, but let's give it a shot. You can see if anything goes wrong with Windows XP. Okay, permission denied at long last. Um, I don't know if we're missing many exe files in the Windows directory at least. Yeah, I can still see plenty of stuff here. Seems like it didn't make it far enough into Windows to really trash everything. 
Well, you know, I noticed something. It is trying to delete regedit as well, but we have that open. So I'm going to try closing that and we'll relaunch the Trojan just to see if we can actually delete our EXE or DLLs. Alright, so we're still running into something that's in use. It doesn't look like it's going to let us delete the EXEs, just as simple as this. I do recall a recent video I made on another Visual Basic piece of malware that suffered the same problem and I had to make a huge string of files that it wasn't allowed to try to delete before it would actually destroy the system. So I'm guessing you could do the same sort of fix here. Not that you'd really want to destroy your PC. I mean I do, but you probably don't. So pretty destructive if you're not in Singapore, but maybe not just because it's not very well coded. I guess that holds true for a lot of malware from this era. But that is about it for the Hold VBS Trojan. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.